Hello guys, welcome back. The art of spending hour cleaning and organizing data in Excel uh, Meet Power Query. The ultimate tool to automate data transformation and make your life easier. From importing messy data to transforming and automating your workflow. In this video, I will show you how to harness the power of Power Query power combining multiple Excel files in just few clicks from multiple workbook and from multiple sheets and automate everything on a go. Uh, we will be a combining file from two methods. The first method is that we will be combining it from one uh, workbook. Uh, one workbook have different uh, sheets like here one two three uh, for simplicity purpose I name it uh, one two three. And for uh, other method we will be combining file from folder. So, okay, to uh, combine from, uh, file from one workbook with different sheet, uh, I'm gonna uh, close this and I will uh, get here in a new uh, sheet. I will go to insert, get data and from file and from Excel workbook. Okay and sheet and this is my file i will go uh, and hit import uh, it's gonna take a while and this is um, uh, this is the file i have uh, like i have this is the main table which combine everything and these are the three sh main uh, table actually it's showing it's multiple times because these are table and these are sheet and this is the main file we will be working with these three so i will uh, select multiple item one two three okay and i will transform data so if i open a power query editor this is a power query editor and i have this file right here these are the uh, description of file these are the step we uh, are going to make when, uh, when we uh, make some changes the step will be highlighted here and we can go back and forth so uh, for this video purpose we are only uh, working with combining file so uh, this is my first file like you know it's uh, end on 20th this is the second start from 21 then end dot 10 2 and these are this is the third one, so I'm from 211. So I will uh, select the first file and on uh, the home tab, I will select home tab, we will come here append queries. I will hit enter append queries as new. And this dialog box will be open. I select this three on because I have three files. Uh, this only work for two files. I have three files, so I will select this. I will select all these with shift and add. Okay, the 22 is already selected, so I have to deselect it here. So 22, 24, 25, and hit OK. And these are all the files combined. Simple. I just have to close and load. I have all uh, the Power Query connection here, and these are one combined file. These are the separate file, and these are the appended file. Like all the files are uh, in one file. You can check this. So that's it. That's the first method. Now let's go to the second method. So guys, for the second method, uh, I have this data in the folder. Let me show you. This is my data right here uh, in PQ data. I have the same three sheet, but in different workbook, one, two, and three. Okay, I will open a new sheet and go again to data, get data from file, but for this time, I will click from folder. Okay, and now I'll go to the same folder and okay and open. So this is the description of our folder, like it's a name extension. Here, if I will click this method in combine and transform data, we can we have to uh, make some transformation in this file to make it clean. Okay. And I will add the data folder for not just because this is table 22, only referring to the first file. I will select the data here and okay. This uh, will again uh, open a Power Query editor, and uh, this time you can see that Power Query uh, itself takes some step to make some changes related, like you know, filter hidden file, invoke custom function, rename column sum, and change type. So uh, we can see here is our data. This is the actual the file name. This is the column, and uh, from here our data started. So to make some changes, like you know, every file, this is the first file, start from here to here, and these are the second, these are the power query, make some changes in the header which are showing again, make it null. So we will simply uncheck this null to combine everything. And we will also remove these two columns because in our final data, we only want these de this data, like date, product, region, sales, and cost. So remove. And again, remove. If, you want, uh, if you want to leave this column for the reference, you can uh, do it. I will leave it here. Okay, and again, uh, if there is uh, other changes like in data or any data, you can make this. This is just for you know uh, explanation and simplicity. For this is a simple data, but for uh, actual data, there are a lot of complications like uh, 
not same header name and cleaning a lot of cleaning required only go to close and load okay now you know all the steps are showing also here this is all our data combined if i can show you the folder it's the separate data everywhere but here everything is combined you know just this simple table in the first and uh, this in the second but here everything is combined so from folder data this is actually very handy you can automate a lot of things like i want to show you a trick here I just want to include in the next month uh, the fourth file data. I will simply copy this and copy this and rename it to four. Okay. In in the same folder, you just have to get here, click on this data and refresh it. Now, look at this. This is our four file data added automatically just with the refresh button. Now let me delete it. I'm gonna delete it and go here and refresh it it's deleted so you know whatever you put in there a power query will take the automatic steps and save like it's take on this file and edit the data clean data so that, so that's it folks now you know how power query can revolutionize uh, your data workflow if you uh, found this tutorial helpful hit the like button subscribe uh, for more excellent tips and comment below if you have any question uh, if you want more in-depth power query tutorial let me know in the comment thank you bye bye